hello students whenever we are, we are coming to an engineering there is a question on the subject that mechanics of solids particularly for civil and mechanical engineering and the question is how to pass this subject easily cause many of the student find this subject much harder to solve so here we are to ensure that you can if you are going to apply this strategy to uh, to learn this subject you can get easily through the mechanics of solids so we have done some analysis of papers of gtu since last years so we have found some special question and special types of question that if if you are going to learn those question then you can get the passing mark not even passing mark but you can get even the higher scoring uh, get higher score in this subject so first of all that is a module 1 in the module 1 there is an uh, introduction which is basic in the that basically theory portion is only asked in the theory portion there is types of force principle of superposition and law of parallelogram so as per the gtu there is a first question in the paper will consist of 1 to 14 one marker question so you can expect one question from this part then next is fundamental of statics in the fundamental of statics there is coplanar concurrent forces in coplanar concurrent forces there is a theory portion and example portion from the theory portion you can expect analy analytical and graphical method for the resolution of coplanar and concurrent forces so if you are going to get this theory then you can easily solve the numericals of this so there is a sure shot one theory of coplanar and concurrent or one example of coplanar co co and concurrent forces will be asked from this chapter so you can expect 7 marks theory or 7 marks example of this uh, from this chapter so if, if you learn this theory portion then you can easily solve this example so it will not take much higher time to get out from this chapter and there are three another theories that free body diagram law of polygon of forces and Lamis theorem so from this three theories the sum of Lamis theorem can be asked in the example uh, in the exam time so there are free body diagram and law of polygon of forces theory and Lamis theorem and example so you can expect either Lamis theorem or Lamis example from this chapter or you can expect one example with Lamis theorem definition so this can be easily treated as 7 marks chapter and this can be treated as 7 marks chapter or you can expect 3 or 4 marks definition from this chapter so if you are going through both this chapter you can get easily 10 marks now the module contains coplanar and non-concurrent forces in the theory portion of the coplanar and non-concurrent forces there are only two theories the difference between moment and couple and Varignon's theorem so you can expect the rare theory from this chapter you can only expect the one numerical of solution of coplanar and non-concurrent forces so more chances for the numerical which can be asked in 7 marks and it will 99% probability of ask uh, for the sum from this chapter now module 2 is application of fundamental statics which consists of 15 percentage weightage you can but you can expect 14 to 21 marks question from this chapter so you can expect that 2 to 3 questions can be asked from this chapter but the theory portion can be help you into solving the one marker question that types of support types of loads types of beams and three marker question that is point of contra flexure that explain point of, point of contra flexure in the numerical portion so you also you can expect the particular seven marks theories from types of beam types of load and types of support but you cannot go through this chapter by only theories there are three types of sum in this chapter determination of support reaction BM and SF diagram in a various load sums now you can expect particularly determination of support reaction and SF and BM, BM diagram which can be 100% sure that you these two types of uh, uh, question will be asked in exams so you can go through only determination of support reaction SF and BM diagram and this four theory that types of support types of load types of beam and point of contra flexure that can help you to get full marks from this chapter you can there is no need to do anything extra to get through this chapter this portion is enough
now the module 3 in module 3 you can expect easily one question from the friction and in the friction part there is always a portion in from which gtu asks question or the sum that is ladder friction there is a sure short sum from the ladder friction can be asked so if you are going with the preparation of ladder friction which consists of only two or three formulas mainly so you can solve easily the sum of the ladder friction so you can get easily seven marks and if they are going for the theory portion, they will only ask laws of static friction. So this theory can be asked in four marks or this cannot be asked in whole seven marks. So you, if you are going with the preparation of one theory of this and one ex numerical uh, practice, you can easily get seven marks whole from this chapter. Now in the module three, there is a chapter centroid and moment of inertia, which helps you to, to get easily pass out the whole MOS subject because this chapter will consist of 14 marks and it is very easy to get the 14 out of 14 marks from this chapter. There are only three, two theories that purpose Golden's theorem and parallel access theorem which consist of three to four marks in the whole paper. It is not sure that this, this theories can be asked but the example of this chapter that 2D and 3D combination and find the moment of inertia and centroid of that part. That like this section, rectangular section or circular section, combination of rectangular and circular section, square section combination in 2D and 3D, this can be asked in 7 to 14 marks minimum. So you can get easily 7 to 14 marks by remembering some of formula to get the center, uh, centroid and moment of inertia. So it is very easy to go through this chapter by 14 marks or 7 marks easily. Now, module 4, simple, and stre simple stress and strain. So, this module contains of simple stress and strain sums. In the sum or numerical part, you can say only three types of sum can be asked. That composite section sum, that there is one bar here, one bar here. The forces are applying through these two directions and find the total force, total applied force or the equilibrium force for this bar. Thermal stresses sums. There are very minor changes in the formula of the thermal stresses sums and step bar sums that like this the bar will be given to you and you have to find the total sum and this is only that uh, only formula change will be occur in this numerical portion and one numerical will surely asked from this portion so you can expect seven marks numerical and in the poison's ratio hook slow and bulk modulus you can expect one of this theory uh, Sure short one of this theory can be asked in the one marker or particular theory of three to four marks. So you can expect may hardly seven to ten marks from this chapter and you can cover seven to ten marks easily by these chapters. So up to this, if you are going to get the marks around 40 to 50, you can easily get by solving this chapter that in the first module, you can expect 14 marks from the first module. So you can easily get 10 to 12 marks by solving this type of module. So up to this, you can get 10 marks. In the next application of fundamental statics module two, you can get easily 10 marks or if some is asked from the seven marks from this chapter, you can get easily seven marks from this portion. So up to this, you can get first of module 14 marks and second module 14 marks minimum. You can get uh, from this 23 marks, which can help you to pass the MOS. So if you are going with the full of preparation from for first two modules, you can easily pass the examination. Now going further, if you are going for the friction, you only that ladder friction method can be solved. So you can get easily seven marks from the ladder, ladder friction method. Now centered and moment of inertia. If you are doing only method, not if you are not going any answer in central centroid or moment of inertia, but if you are doing only methods, and find some ix xs iyy and by means of some theory of theory portion you can get easily half of the marks or 70% mark, marks of can be covered from this chapter so you can get 7 marks from this and 7 marks from this so 14 so up to this 23 plus 14 is equal to 37 marks now the simple stress and strain is remaining. Now you can expect minimum 10 marks of uh, numerical and theory portion from this chapter or maximum 14 marks. So you can get half easily 10 marks from this chapter. So you can get 
around 50 marks if you are going with the preparation of only this four modules so it is easy up, up to this point it is very easy to get 50 45 to 50 marks which can be very very good in the subject of MOS now for the module 5 module 5 is stresses in beams this is the most time consuming chapter and most time consuming chapter during the examination we can say that it is it will waste around 15 to 20 minutes of 7 marks sum in your examination so there are more mainly three portion in this chapter flexural stress shear stress and torsion there will be a short short question of the torsion torsion from the this chapter this will consist of 28 to 21 marks in the gtu examination so 7 marks from this 7 marks from this or you can expect 7 to 14 marks from this but you have to skip this chapter as of now because it will consist of one day whole or one and a half day to get to remember all the formula to resolve all the sum and it is not sure that if you are going with this type of preparation you can easily solve the exam examination numerical so as of now skip this chapter you can go through only theoretical portion which can be helped you some somewhere but as of now flexural stresses should be skipped now go for shear stress we have already go through the modulus of elasticity portion moment of inertia portion centroid portion so you can get if you are clear in these types of topics you can easily get the sum get the answer of these types of sum that sum of simple formula by parallel axis theorem so it is easy to get seven marker sum and seven marker theory from this chapter so you can easily get seven mark from the shear stress and there are in the torsion there there are only five to four formulas which can help you to solve out the whole sum and which will give you seven mark through so it, it will take hardly two hours for you to solve the sum of torsion so uh, you can get, get easily seven marks from the torsion part so if this is this chapter is asked in 21 to 28 marks 7 marks from this chapter 7 marks from this chapter and if the theory is asked then 4 to you can expect 2 or 3 marks but minimum you can 20, you can expect 14 marks out of 21 to 28 now the last portion principal stress it is the most important chapter for the technical language or you can get the principal stress uh, everywhere in the in our regular use so as of now for the most it can also use to get these seven marks it is sure that seven marks of sum from the principal stress will be asked in the examination and it is quite 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 easier in the all chapter that you have to just remember four formula just need to know that from which portion the stress stress is occurring or uh, you have just need to identify the stress that it is sigma 1 sigma 2 sigma 3 sigma 4 and by this you can get the answer by just put your uh, number uh, value of the stress in the in the formula and get the answer so for the numerical portion if the question will be asked not if it will must they will must ask the question in the numerical part then you can get easily seven marks in this part and the for the theory purpose there is only one that more circle particularly for the solving of principal stresses there are two methods that numerical analytical method and graphical method so for the graphical method you can say that is more circle and analytical method by put by putting the all the values in the formula you can get the uh, answer from the analytical method so only method of graph more circle will give the only graphical method so it can be asked in the theory portion and you can expect the more circle will come in the paper by three or four marks so you can just you should just go through the theory of more circle it is quite easy to how to draw the more circle and the numerical portion will be give you seven marks easily up to module four you are able to get 42 to 49 marks by our method but if you are going for the another chapter that stresses in beams in module five and principal stress 
in module 6 you can get 7 marks from this chapter 7 marks from this chapter then again 14 marks so on an average you can get 56 marks so on an average we can get around 50 to 60 marks if you are going through this method that we have given to you so I hope this video is very useful to you and it is not for only mechanical for the particular uh, most you can go uh, go for uh, civil and mechanical both the branches but if you have any doubts you can email us on mechanical tips at the rate gmail.com and you can send your doubts on whatsapp that our number is 94096-56619 and 77780-92462 so if you have doubts in any topic regarding mechanical engineering if you have doubt any topics in the whole mechanical and for the particular civil, if you have doubts in strength of material, fluid mechanics and mechanics of solids. If you have doubt, you can send us, it, uh, send us on our WhatsApp or you can email us so we can reply as soon as, as, soon as possible and we will try our best so to solve your doubts. So if you like it and if you find it helpful, please like, share and subscribe our video.